Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Academy Bites. It's been a while, but we're back in full force for 2017. To start off, let's talk about streams, one of the staples of modern mapping, and arguably one of the more fun patterns to play. Today we're going to talk about compressed streams and how and when to use them. Compressed streams are just as they sound. It is a normal stream pattern, but compressed. These actually occur in mapping more than you might notice, as sometimes the spacing varies only slightly from the normal spacing. To create something like this, there are a few ways. Some do these by eyes, and others take a more mathematical approach to making a compressed stream by adjusting just the distance snap for that set of notes. We will go over some of these types and tricks you can use in mapping with compressed streams, like buildups and basic patterns. So let's get started. Circle. Now that we're in the editor, let's take a little bit of time here to go over when using compressed streams. As you can see, easy and normal is not something you want to use a compressed stream for. If you have compressed streams in either of these difficulties, you might want to rethink the approach on the difficulty. Maybe try a hard or insane. For this video, we'll be going over insane. So let's go ahead and get that and have that saved. Once done there, we'll move on to the first adjustments. All right, with setup out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about distance spacing and the distance snap function. Now, you can adjust your distance spacing to whatever you like, but of course for this demonstration, I'm going to be using 1.0 and 0.5. Now, of course, you can create a compressed stream without distance snap or distance spacing by just holding the Alt button and letting that unlock, and that'll allow you to move the notes freely, as I've done here, and you can create a compressed stream. But, that being said, you can make the exact same thing happen with just an adjustment of the distance spacing to 0.5 and keeping distance snap on. That way, it is very consistent, and you don't have to worry about guesswork. But there is a drawback to using distance spacing and distance snap. You have to remember that when creating compressed streams, you want a specific distance spacing for it. Um, I'll show you right now what I mean. As we go ahead and we can pull these back out, we'll change it back down to 5.0.5, and then we'll redo those. But if you click that 5, which you want to keep at 1.0, it will follow the 0.5. So make sure you make note when creating your beat maps of what sections you want to be at what distance spacing and so on and so forth as you'll need to keep that to stay consistent you can use the tools at the top the previous and next um, circles little indicators up at the top in the yellow there those will allow you to know what your previous note and next note were distance spacing wise as we can move these you can see that I try to go for a very consistent 1.04 1.04 those are exactly the same distance from each other that is something you want to go ahead and try to do when creating beat maps inconsistent spacing without reason will get you called out so unless you have good reason avoid it and remember be careful we'll go over a few more and some buildups in just a second as we speed through some more of this footage Okay, now we're at our first large stream here, and we're going to go ahead and use Distance Snap to create this. As you can see, we're going to go ahead and line it out very clean. That way we have a little bit of an axis to work on, and we'll just make a very slight curve. Now this is a Distance Snap of 0.5 still, just like the others. And then we'll get into creating a fresh pattern right from just nothing. So let's go ahead and take our 1 and 2 creating a normal pattern here and then using a three for a triangle formation and from three we'll also just create a downward angle um, nothing too crazy here but we're going to keep that at that level now as you can see from one to two I did adjust the distance snap back to 0.5 and then once seven was placed I adjusted the distance snap back to 1.0 so eight nine and so on and so forth could be correctly spaced and then we'll go ahead and get that adjusted. The last thing we'll go over, um, we'll just make a Circles. fun little pattern here. The last thing we're gonna go over is like build up condensed streams. Click and the these circles. are a little bit rougher to use. Um, I'm gonna do my best to give you a decent explanation, but I do not use these that much myself. Circles. So I will do the best of my abilities, guys. 
And the last pattern thing we'll go over today is going to be a build-up condensed stream. Now these are a little bit difficult even for me. I've never really found a very good way to do these, so I will be kind of um, uh, just messing around here a little bit. Might speed up some of this footage till I get something I'm okay with. Um, these are really not too hard. Essentially what you're going to do here for each one of these little triples is you want to slightly adjust the distance snap. So for example, you'd have one at 0 0.5, one at 0 0.6, one at 0 0.7. If that's not big of a jump for you, you can also go from 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 to 0 0.9 to 0 to 1.1, or you can make jumps like that. Um, as you can see, I do have them slightly set up here. Um, the very first one very tight, the very second one a little less tight, and then the third one almost normal 1.0 spacing. And these kind of create a buildup um, for the section in the song. I will go ahead here in just a moment and play out what I have mapped today, and we'll see how it sounds and everything like that. I hope this video has helped a little bit in creating condensed streams. And if there's a specific mapping technique you'd like to see in general, feel free to shoot me a message. I'd be more than happy to try to cover it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. And remember guys, rhythm's only a click away and we'll see you real soon. Be a rainbow girl.